hello everyone welcome back to green one day at a time and a happy new year i hope you all had a wonderful 2020 and i can't wait to show you what i have planned for 2021 these are a list of things that i would like to try this year so there are purple potatoes red duke potatoes pink fur apple potatoes jerusalem artichokes baby corn okra um, Malabar spinach, they are all vegetables or root vegetables which I have not tried before. These are all things which I would like to try this year, more like a wish list. It will only happen if I can source them from a reputed place. The red cabbage for winter, aubergine and cucumber plants, I will buy as plant rather than seeds. The rest of them are seeds that I would get from a general garden center, whichever is open. The reason, main reason I'm going to get aubergine and cucumber plant is because I don't want a lot of them. I only want two or three cucumber plants, the same for aubergine. So that's the, the initial plan I drew up in January. I will also draw up a similar drawing like this to make sure that i have successional sowings throughout the year now moving on to the seeds during february i will be planting broad beans this is normal broad beans and a pink color broad beans that i'll be sowing in february The next would be kohlrabi, calabrese, cauliflower and cabbage. These are seeds which I would sow them indoors, make them into sturdy, good plants and then plant them out around March. I'm also going to try okra this year in my greenhouse. I'll be planting them in February. Same goes for the tomato seeds. These are tomato seeds I collected from last year. Uh, so I will show you how I have saved them. I always save my seeds in tissue paper and wrapped in tissue paper and then in a paper on envelope. This is mainly to avoid the condensation that happens in plastic wrappings. So this one is bluebell tomato seeds. So they are quite healthy. I took them from fully ripe tomato and then let the seeds dry and then I saved it in wrapped it in a tissue paper and save, secured it well and put it in the envelope. The same goes for the rest of the tomatoes. So there are Roma tomatoes, there's a store-bought tomato, uh, this one is let's see this one is a long tomato. The tomato was given to me by my neighbor in the allotment the tomatoes are quite long rather than round so the this is the seeds from that tomato so there are a number of different tomatoes around six varieties of tomato seeds i've collected um, and all of them will be sown in propagator this month itself This is Turkish tomato seeds. These, this tomato plant was given to me again by my neighbor in the allotment. They were beautiful tomatoes with very fleshy fruit. So I saved the seeds. And tiny toms are always a big success. So they will also go in this time. Moving on to flowers. I have sweet two kinds of sweet pea. Uh, this one came with a bouquet of flowers for the Valentine's Day. This one I brought from Wilkinson. I'm going to try nasturtium this year to keep aphids um, from attracting towards beans. Then cosmos and calendula. I had great success last year with bees and the calendulas. We ate a lot with the salads. So I'll be doing them again. Moving on to color radishes. Something new I'm going to try. Carrots. I'm still harvesting carrots from last year. So again, carrots this year, cylindrical beetroot from last year's seeds. So they were also good. 
parsnip and sweet corn seeds i brought new this year with the case of parsnip you should always sow the seeds fresh each year more radishes there's white radish and french breakfast seeds from last year so i'll again sow them uh, around march uh, directly into the uh, allotment in the allotment Let's look at all the green leafy vegetables. That's pak choy. I had no success whatsoever last year. Either they bolted or they were eaten by slugs and snails. But I'll still try this year. And that's red amaranth leaves. They have got beautiful red leaves and red stems. Very tasty as well in stir fries or soups. There's spinach. Uh, there is kale varieties. So that is purple kale, that is cavalonero, that is Brussels sprouts and then there is purple sprouting broccoli. So all of them I'll be doing again this year, uh, a bit later than what I did last year in fact. Purple sprouting broccoli needs a long growing season so in fact you have to sow them quite early for harvest for march so in i still have the purple sprouting broccoli plants in my allotment and they haven't given uh, sprouting broccolis yet so they need a quite a lot of time to grow there's spring onions firm favorite and these are red basil and green basil i may not put them outside i might do them inside this year and this is lettuce and Lolo Rosa lettuce. This was ordered online and I got very little seeds. Uh, they were quite expensive. I don't know, you can see there might be some 10, le 10 seeds there in them. So I will be very careful in how I sow them. This is coriander seeds, which I harvested last year from my coriander plant. What I did last year was I sowed three su successional sowings of coriander. Only the first time I harvested the leaves. The next two times I left them so that they could go into seed and then I collected them towards the time when they were ready and I saved it. So this year I will sow these seeds again uh, in su succession and I, might, I will harvest the first two sets and the next I will use again to... Uh, you know, the same way to to seed them in the next bit in the plan is shallots i've always grown shallots in the allotment so this is red sun shallot sets i will also be getting golden gourmet i haven't yet got time to go for buying it so i will be soon getting them as well and these are potatoes charlotte potatoes the charlotte varieties they are very good for salads and boiling um, or even just roasting them in the oven this is the only one variety i've got i either want to get a pink for apples so they, they see they have actually started to grow or cheat them so i have to get on cheating them now i also have some beans runner beans turnips more carrots pop uh, golden turnip i didn't have any success with golden turnip last year but i will still try again this year in a very different way there's peas celery i have most of the seeds here i only need squashes and pumpkin seeds i have saved some from last year but i do not hope that they would grow or give me a lot of harvest from it so i would be going to a garden center soon to get some squashes i hope you enjoyed this video on what i have planned for the allotment this year i hope you can get some inspiration and also grow some veggies for your plate stay safe and see you soon